Hey guys, it's Steven. I wanted to make a really quick video on uh, Tattooed Chef and show you guys some of the uh, support levels that I see and why I haven't liked it for a couple of months from the long side, um, but I did um, last week start liking it again. Basically, um, I got out of my position uh, right around here on 28, which I, obviously I had no idea that they wouldn't be able to pass the vote um, looking for the extension on the first try. Um, that's what this big drop is here. But you'll see each one of these green levels is a, is a pivot point. And after that drop, it never was able to recover the high. So the stock internet entered into a, a downtrend. That's the uh, this first line here. And then a second downtrend where it tried to pivot here around 11.2 off of this low and move higher. This was actually a, a decent buy setup uh, at this point. Um, and it could have been bought for a trade from you know, the 17 level up to this 2095 level. Um, but then the stock moved lower again. Notice the whole time this downtrend was going on that the 20 day moving average was in a downtrend. So one of the reasons I liked it and began liking it um, last week is because this downtrend on the 20 day is starting to curl higher and the stock broke the downtrend here, this blue line that it had been in um, since 1019, which was just another leg down off of the larger downtrend. So basically, I don't want to buy anything that's in a downtrend and, and heading lower. Um, but when it turns, which is what we're always looking for, that's when you want to get in. And ideally, you would get in right here at, at, the, at the bottom when it turned and you had confirmation. These two candlesticks on 12.1 and 12.2, this was a, a bullish engulfing pattern. And then we had confirmation which I think we talked about in the, the Discord. Um, you can see over here, this was also a bullish engulfing pattern on 10.26 and 10.27, but the following day, the stock didn't trade out of the shadow of this green candlestick. So basically, there was no confirmation, which you have to have with a bullish engulfing pattern, and you see it continued down. But here, like I said, on 12.1 and 12.2, we had a bullish engulfing pattern we had confirmation of the pattern and at the same time the stock was breaking the downtrend and we had the uh, curling up of the 20 day. So where we are now, uh, the stock is at an important point because 2096, 2095 right here, this red line is major resistance for the stock. It got pretty close today. Um, it traded up to 2065 at the high today. So it's going to be important to watch how the stock reacts off of this major uh, resistance level now. Um, I know Tobin has been um, very kind in sharing some of his insights on the stock and how he's working uh, with the company to help them improve their, their marketing, like getting their story out. Um, but I wanted to point out some of the, the technical aspects of the stock right now where it's trading. And again, that... 2095 2096 level you just call it 21 is going to be really important to see how the stock reacts off that level in the next couple of days whether it blasts through it and keeps moving up and then you know we're, we're talking about moving back probably to the 25 26 level at that point or if it reacts off of that resistance level and comes back down if it does i'd look for it to come down you know back to the 18 to 19 level um, and maybe form another pivot point and take another run at the 21 level if it doesn't make it through in the next couple of days. Uh, that's it. Hope things are going well with you. I'll uh, talk to you soon.